What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, I fish a creek with my buddy. Uh, this is the creek, well this is my favorite creek to catch smallmouth bass out of. And this is the creek I fished about two episodes ago. And yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned, make sure to like and subscribe. Let's hop in. It like the weather's so perfect right now. All right, you want to talk to the camera just for a little bit, just like get some hype out or whatever. Sure. All right, guys, we are at one of our favorite creeks for smallmouth right now, and it is looking amazing. Like, and the conditions are perfect. The water's running. And the smallmouth bite should be. All right, let's hop down. As soon as it dropped, it got a bump. Oh wow, that was a bad gas. Oh, I'm getting bit. There we go. Oh, yes. Yes. Greek smallmouth. legit a small fish but this feels so good it's a cold cold fish water's cold but if they're biting this this is probably this is probably the best time to fish for these smallmouth uh water's really starting to cool down in these creeks and they're really starting to feed up best time for smallmouth thank you oh there's another smallmouth there's another one. Oh gosh Fix the Ned rig. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Legit, I just saw a fish swimming when I was releasing that fish. Uh, made it to spot number two. Um, this is a spot I caught a big smallmouth at last time. Well, not giant, but like, you get the gist if you guys saw the video. Oh my gosh. Ah. Ah. Thing hit it like a freight train for that small of a fish. Feel how cold it is. Wow. What are you throwing? A uh, small Ned rig. It's like a Senko. The bottom of it for centers.
Yeah. Ah, ah, go back in, yes. Oh my. Yeah. Four. They're all little dinks. I know, I know. Oh, come on. Come at, come at. Yeah. Yep, yeah, no. Ah! Come on, buddy. Look at there. That's a good one. Yeah. Beautiful smallmouth. Wind's taking it. I got a piss. Huh? I said I got a piss. Okay, so five fish on the board right now. Um, I'm moving, well, not, not exactly moving, but like a couple feet. couple yards down from where I just caught those fish, uh, some flowing water flows in and there's an eddy right there. The flowing water's right here, which flows into the big hole, main hole, and there's two boulders. And that's what I'm working with right now. And I'm still, I still have the Ned rig tied on and I really want to get a bite on that popper. Because I think the popper can work right now. It's just I need to tell myself to throw it. Because, like, I'm catching fish on this Ned rig and I don't want to fix what's not broken. You know? And there's Snag. That's gone forever. Aaron Hernandez. Oh my gosh, I almost had one, but I'm an idiot, so I didn't set the hook. Wow, can't believe I got a blow up.
Here we go. What was that? That was a very, very small fish. Ow. A Ned rig. A Ned rig. Oh. No. Freaking giant. Jeez. Things like a PB. Wow. Huh? Yeah. We we see a note. <laughs> okay, midday update. Just finished fishing our third or fourth spot. Yeah. No, um. Four spot maybe, but I don't know where, where we're going next, but hopefully we can stick a big one this time. I've really been catching dinks lately, especially the last one. That was super small, dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Anyway, back to what I was saying. The past couple fish have been smaller and uh, I, I love catching them this way. I'm not complaining one bit whatsoever, but I just want to get a big one before the day is done. And one other bad thing is I ran out of Ned Rigs. So we'll see how that goes. All right, see you guys in the next spot. All right, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, do all that. See you guys on the next episode of Joy Grass Outdoors.